never mind interrupting. I drop by. So I drink my colleagues. I really think you should go, Max. When did you start thinking, Christopher? It was about the time you started going soft on her. No, I can't see the attraction myself. But then, I never was into used goods. Right. Oh, Chris, you know what? Just leave it. Yeah, yeah, leave it, Christopher. Be the good little lap dog that you are. <laughs> Out of interest, how much does she charge a member of staff? science teacher. Go on, Max. Let's see how we get on with a class full of grown-ups with a bit of respect for authority, shall we? Chris. Look, I know it came as a bit of a shock and I'm sorry that I put me size fives in it, but I want to make it up to you. Seriously, Steph, you better off just staying out of my way. Stay away from me, Dad, while you're asking. Hey, you can't talk to her like that. Don't tell me what to do, I am not a kid. Then stop acting like one, will you? Get off, get off, get off me, get off. Come on, come on, get off. Responsibility today and treat you like an ad boy. Like you are. You are. Daddy doesn't love mummy, so you lose it. But well, you're gonna start crying. Right, that is nothing. Don't blame me because your dad's riding around town on a school bike. Your mum must be a right minger if he dumped her for Miss Adolf. That is enough! You're gonna whip me, or are you just gonna go run into the head and get me expelled because you just don't know what to do with me? It's like last time. I'll never tell anyone about you and Jess. She shouldn't get sad just because she slept with her. Hey babe, are you upset? You're a liar and a cheat. What? No, I'm not. Do you know what's wrong? Yeah. No. 